Chanel has acquired British Swim and Resort where brand Oral Bar Brown from shareholders, including Piper and founder Adam Brown, who will continue to lead it as creative director along with chief executive Paul Donahue. The terms of the transaction remain disclosed. Launched as a digital brand in 2007, Oral Bar Brown expanded in 2010 into a full resort range. India and Uzbekistan recently agreed to establish an expert group to jointly undertake a feasibility study for a trade agreement to boost economic ties and commence negotiations for a preferential trade agreement by 2018 and, according to a joint statement issued by the two nations in New Delhi during a visit by Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev. Ethiopia has set up Hadama Industrial Park in the Oromia region for sectors like textile, apparel, vehicle assembly and food processing. The park is expected to generate about a million jobs. The park was inaugurated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. The Oromia region is the largest and most populous and is the home region of the Prime Minister. The Indian government has imposed an anti-dumping duty ranging between $128.06 per ton and $719.44 per ton for five years on the import of nylon filament yarn from Vietnam and the European Union. The duty has been imposed following recommendations by the Directorate General of Trade Remedies, the investigation arm of the Commerce Ministry. Saudi international petrochemical company, Sipcham, recently signed a non-binding agreement to acquire Sahara Petrochemical Company in an all-share deal valued at just over $2 billion. The former will issue each Sahara shareholder with 0.8356 new Sipcham shares, according to the companies. Shareholders of the companies would each own 50% of Sipcham stock. The Bangladesh Parliament recently passed the textile bill that was introduced in June 2018 by State Minister for Jute and Textiles Mirza Azam. The government wants to achieve higher numbers by streamlining multiple processes for market leaders in the textile industry as the country's apparel sector grew from $28.2 billion in 2016 to $29.33 billion in 2017. The first responsible wool standard certified products have hit the market while more will make their way to shelves very soon as the commitment to the RWS from across the textile industry grows, according to Textile Exchange. The RWS is a voluntary global standard that addresses the welfare of sheep and of the land on which they graze. The commission comprising representatives from trade unions, the Cambodian government and employers tasked with deciding the minimum wage for workers in the textile, garment and footwear sector recently agreed to raise the minimum wage to $182 starting January. Most members accepted $177 proposed by the employers. Prime Minister Hunson added $5 to that. Eight Dutch institutional investors, with combined assets of 725 billion euros, have launched the platform Living Wage Financials Initiative campaigning for fair wages in the textile sector in the developing world. The investors, which include asset managers MN, Kempen, HMIA M, NNIP and Robco, also aim to ban child labor and excessive overtime. Apart from giving priority to a low-carbon economy, Bangladesh has undertaken widespread reforms related to making existing and future industries, including those in the leather and ready-made garment sectors, environment-friendly, industries Minister Amir Hussain Amit told the 5th Green Industry hobby. Conference for Sustainable Development in Bangkok recently. Log on to www.fiber2fashion.com and stay updated with more textile stories.